Hello, good morning, everybody. This is, uh, can we call this day two or day three? I think it's called day two. Day two. Yeah, of our trip to the Arctic Circle. Um, it is... Seven. Seven o'clock in the morning? I would have been up for a little bit. Anthony's out fishing. The other two boys are asleep. Um, holy crap, what an interesting day yesterday. I told the boys <laughs> when we got up that it was going to be probably the most boring day of a trip because all we were doing was driving on highways. And um, we knew that there were forest fires. We just didn't know how bad it was. When we woke up and left, it was a little smoky outside, mm -hmm. but not terrible. Um, nothing worse than what it's like in the Seattle area. So we'll just call that average for the area. Uh, man, once we started getting north, it just got worse and worse. And to the point with right or a right little afternoon, um, where exactly it was were we? Two o'clock. We were in. Quetzal or Quetzal or it was right before Quetzal was it? And um, <clears throat> it it just it looked like a, an eclipse. It just got dark. Like headlights had to be on. You couldn't see anything. You could just see the glow from the fires. You couldn't see like phys uh, physically see flames, but the smoke was just so thick. It was I I have no like idea why that road day. was still open. It was crazy. Yeah, I don't think they were planning on that road being open. Um, it was crazy. It was one of the the kids had a blast. It was really they, eerie. <laughs> it feeling. was very eerie for us, <laughs> driving our children through fire. But uh, it was yeah, it was something else. It the was fire really cool. was actually a long ways away. It was just, it was on the other side of the hill, but yeah, it, was it was so you could see so much smoke, the smoke and and the the glow from it was just incredible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting day. We didn't make as much time as we had hoped. We were hoping to get to Smithers, and we're a couple hours we're south a couple of hours Smithers. From Smithers yeah. uh, we had a couple issues with the truck um, that we had to iron out. Uh, after we got out of the smoke at the gas station, I was just doing my, my checks, you know, checking the oils, checking the trailer, and checking uh, the um, air filter, and the, the, the tube that goes to the air filter snapped. So I had to fix that, which took us mm, half an hour. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, it wasn't a huge loss. She was getting cash anyways, getting her Canadian Monopoly money for the trip. So it wasn't a big deal. Uh, but then we were also getting this weird, almost sounded rotational, but it was like a whoa, 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 whoa type sound. It sounded like a wheel bearing. Um, I had just packed the wheel bearings, but on Land Cruisers, they're, they're kind of hard to pack. So I was afraid maybe I didn't tighten it properly. Um, we stopped at a rest stop, and I, I took uh, lifted up the truck and felt them. They felt decent, um, so we kept on going. Oh, and, and grease the drive. And grease the drive line because we're getting a binding or a pinging from the drive line, which I did something I, I overlooked before we left. So we greased that, and um, I think we choked up the noise that was making us kind of paranoid to being actually the license plate tapping, uh, getting vi vibrating against one of the uh, front bumper lights, um, causing a harmonic noise at certain speeds, because um, we moved the lights and the noise went away, which is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever heard of, but whatever, at least it's not a truck issue, because I think today is the last day we're going to be driving through decent amounts of civilization, where if I needed to order parts or get something for the truck, Until now we be... get to Dawson. Is Dawson a pretty good Dawson sized town? Dawson has a Napa, I know that. Okay. Until we get to Dawson. But Dawson's still 16 hours from, from Smithers. Smithers. Yeah, so we got a long open area, and it looks very open. The map doesn't have a lot going on <laughs> between here and there. So so the goal today, um, we we ended up, we after our last night, we decided we are not setting up camp at night anymore. Not because it's not safe, I'm sure it isn't, but we have lights and stuff, it's not a big deal. But you just don't know where you're going, you're tired, you know, it's hard to pick out a good spot. So instead of going to Smithers, we, um, when we got gas, I asked the gas attendant uh, if there were any decent campsites, and he sent us up the hill to this place, which is maybe 10 minutes from the gas station. Uh, it's freaking awesome, it's a campsite, um, but- uh, No hookups or anything. No I mean, hookups. It's just a pull-in, no free site, trash cans. donation only. Yeah. But, and it's in the middle of a mountain bike park, which is freaking awesome. Anthony brought his bike. He conned me into dragging that along. Uh, so he's in heaven. He's out fishing. He's going to ride his mountain bike after this. We're going to just do a little preliminary check stuff. We'll probably leave around lunchtime today. Just take it easy today. We had a rough day yesterday. Um, goal is to go through Smithers and make it just, I don't know, halfway between Smithers and um, the Yukon today. We'll find us a place out there. We don't know where we're staying. That... I'm assuming after Smithers, after this afternoon, we're going to be out of touch for a while. Um, 
Yeah. We've actually had pretty decent service this whole trip. Yeah. Surprisingly. Out, but, yeah. Um, so this, it might be a while before we can communicate after this. Hopefully towns will have Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff. Yeah. We'll be able to tap into, but yeah. We'll see. But yeah, um, it's been a, uh, one thing, it's been a real win. This trailer has been awesome. Uh, yes. We got close to a thousand miles on it now and I haven't had a single issue with it. And that was my biggest paranoia when we left is just the wheels falling off and then having to look at this lady when she was yelling at me <laughs> because I screwed up. But so luckily, <laughs> luckily, knock on wood, everything's going great. Um, the meals have been awesome. Yeah. We did uh, breakfast burritos. We pre-made them and froze them. Holy crap, they were awesome. They're the best. Um, I don't yeah. think we spent a dime on food yesterday. Nope, we um, just stopped and got drinks. Yeah, we got drinks for the kids. And I think that'll be our thing is in the morning if we're in town, we'll let them get a drink for the day. And then um, that's it. You know, we ate everything. It was the stuff we had. The, we did chili for dinner. It was already pre-made. It was easy. No dishes, really, except yeah. for spoons. Yeah. Um, yeah, so paper plates. So that's paper something bowls. we're going to continue with is definitely those types of easy pre-made meals. I usually go to crazy town when it comes to food when I'm camping. I try to do these gourmet awesome foods, which are awesome. But it's just so much work, so much mess, and so much trash. Yeah. You know, and our goal is to really to, lim to limit how much trash we're carrying on this trip. Because we just don't have a place to throw it away, and I'm not going to leave it here. So. I mean, we're on day, day two. Day, and... Full day two. Full day two. Yeah. And we haven't even had to throw a grocery bag. Of trash away. Away. Yeah. Yet. And the one that we have, I mean, it's like only halfway full. So. Yeah. And this is from when we left home. Yeah. So yeah. we're doing really good. I mean, obviously, when we stop at the gas stations, we throw any bottled water away and that kind of stuff. But I think next time we should just get refillable bottles for the kids that they can just. Yeah, I mean, the bottled water is just cheap. It's easy. But yeah, yeah, but it's still trash. Yeah. So just some thoughts. It was good to learn what we needed to have in the galley instead of keeping it in the camp box, which is on top of the truck that has to be completely unhooked. Like, you know, the paper towels and the kids' cups, you know, if you want to be able to open the galley and get coffee and hot cocoa for the kids first thing in the morning. Yeah. Um, it's really nice, especially if you stop at a gas station, if everything's just, if you can see in there, I think it's open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just easy to access. It's all right there. Um, if we need to cook something real quick on the road or just grab something for the kids, it's all in there. It's not in the car, taking up space. We really actually don't have a lot of things inside the truck. No. Just the kids' crap. <laughs> yeah. Their books and their games and, and their the cool, things. The cooler that has like the bread. And yeah, stuff and in and it. the dry dry storage cooler um, is in there. So, um, which is nice. It doesn't have a lot of clutter. You know, it's pretty clean, which is yeah. the way we want to keep it. So. Yep. But yeah, I think that's all I got. Yep, that's it. We'll keep making videos. We'll just post them when we can. Cause yeah, and we hopefully we can continue. Um, but we'll see. We'll just. I think after this, it's just, it might be a couple days. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So, Who knows? wish us luck. We're super excited um, to drag on a little bit more. Like we were thinking yesterday, holy crap, I can't believe we're doing this. Are we actually doing this? Are we actually driving the Arctic Circle? Um, we are. And it's really kind of cool to look. The trees are already different. Yeah, they're already getting smaller. And more, um, they're not pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're looking the kind of stra Yeah, that haggard. That's a yeah. good word. Yeah. So, um, but if you guys ever get up this way, Kager Lake. Uh, yeah, that's Burns where we Lake are. Kager Lake. It's, it's a little hole in the wall -y place. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous lake. In Canadian bathrooms, like they're porta potty things, totally different than so the US. So far, I haven't been disappointed. It's like everything yep. is so clean. And people, we had people stop yesterday both times. To make sure, like when we were working on the cars, just to make sure that we were um, okay. Yeah. Um, which was really nice. Like people don't do that in the U.S. So, yeah. Um, everybody's been very welcoming so far, mm -hmm. and you know, a local gave us the spot. Yep. So, um, we could yep. have not. We could have said, "Oh, you can go pay fifty dollars a night at KOA," you know, but he didn't. So, yeah. um, so yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Thanks again for watching and keep us uh, in your thoughts and prayers because it is going to get 
fun here pretty soon. <laughs> so this will be the last day we're smiling yeah. in the I morning. Doubt it. I doubt it. It was a little bit chillier this morning, though. Yeah. That's for sure. It's okay, though. Yeah. It's in the low 40s. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll be in touch. Yep.